among all Charlie Smith, Jong Banji, Georgia Strait. I'm Charlie Smith, editor of the Georgia Strait. Very happy to be back for another week on WOW TV. I'm going to start with quite a fascinating story out of Burns Lake, British Columbia. And in Burns Lake, there are six First Nations kind of congregated around this town that is on the highway about halfway between Prince George and Prince Rupert. The chief of the Burns Lake Band has been Al Giroux, who is the husband of Carol James, the former NDP leader. Well, Al Giroux has stepped down to take a job with a pipeline company. He had also uh, written letters to support Enbridge in its attempts to get permits to do preliminary work on its pipeline, which is going to run from Alberta to Kitimat. And this is a very controversial project. So Al Giroux has resigned. There's a by-election. And what's interesting is one of the candidates is not a First Nations woman. Her name is Pauline Gertson, and she's Caucasian, and she's been encouraged by members of the band to run for chief. And it's quite fascinating because you have to be First Nations to run for council, but under the Indian Act, a white person or a Chinese person or an Indian person or a Japanese person could run for chief of a First Nation. And the First Nations actually, they, they manage a fair amount of money, they make agreements with companies, with governments. So Pauline Gertson could conceivably, in this by-election, become the first white chief in British Columbia. She's a Mennonite background. Uh, she's been working with the band for over 20 years. Uh, she lives in Burns Lake, so it's an interesting story. Another story we had this week was by our reporter Carlito Pablo, and it dealt with e-cigarettes. And these are electronic cigarettes where people buy, um, they can actually buy the equivalent of 10 packages of cigarettes for $10. And these are um, kind of liquid form. And um, so they're becoming increasingly popular because people get the nicotine hit. Uh, you don't get all the um, kind of benzene and some of the products associated with tobacco in your lungs. So some people see this as a form of harm reduction. But the Vancouver Coastal Health Authority is quite concerned about these e-cigarettes uh, because people are still consuming nicotine and they're still doing it on um, health authority grounds. Right now, you're not allowed to smoke cigarettes say, on the patio outside Vancouver General Hospital. But people are, are using these e-cigarettes. So what's going to happen is the Vancouver Coastal Health Authority told Carlito that it's planning on banning, it, banning these products from all of its facilities. And it speaks to a debate in healthcare between some people who look upon these products as being a form of harm reduction because you're not damaging the lungs uh, to the same degree as you are with cigarettes. But the problem is uh, many measures have been taken in the region, including banning smoking from restaurants, from patios, uh, to reduce smoking and reduce nicotine consumption and get people off their addiction. But if they're using these products, uh, are they going to maintain their addiction? And is that actually increasing harm, particularly if they're getting in the hands of children? Uh, another story we had this week by Yoland Cole uh, dealt with the York Theatre on Commercial Drive. And this is a, a new theatre that was created. Uh, the Wall Financial Co Corporation um, worked with the city and got more than 100,000 square feet of density transferred um, so that uh, they would, they fixed up the theatre. You know, estimates range from 13 to $20 million on how much they spent. Well, now what's happened is the operator of the theater is the Kulch, um, and it has worked out a deal with a, a company called West Coast Reduction for $2 million in operating funds. But the issue for people in the area is West Coast Reduction, it's a meat rendering plant, and they recycle meat products, but there have been a lot of complaints in that area of Vancouver about um, pollution emanating from the plant. So there were 469 complaints to Metro Vancouver, air quality complaints in, in 2012. The city of Vancouver is going to be holding a public hearing on this. The Kulch is very much in favor of a $2 million operating grant uh, for the new theater. 
And what's, what's unusual about this is usually grants of this magnitude are for capital, for buildings. In this case, this is ongoing operational funding, so it's important to the theatre, but some of the people in the um, neighbourhood are not thrilled about that. So now I'm going to turn it over to Janet Smith, our arts editor, and she's going to update you on the PUSH Festival. 